the differences between 1956 and 1952 standard Compton toilets at the barrel with me. It's been almost a long time since I put a video together. I have two Compton bowls, 56 and 52, and um, I'll start trying to figure out the differences that I have seen with them. Already, one's more cleaner than the other. Um, pretty sure they're the same length. It's kind of hard to figure that one out, but um, I think they're the same length and size, Exter exter exterior size. Um, these ones still had the smaller mouth tra trapway design, not like the very later one where it's wider from what I've seen on other people's newer standard Compton toilet bowls. Um, of course the logo on this one's blue, and there's no indent in the stamp, it's just smooth put on. But now for the 1956 one course it's green and there's this little it's a pushed into the actual china a little bit so you can actually feel a little bit of shape like there's a little bit of texture there physical texture hold on my camera's just going out of focus you can actually see it and the other one of course it's just ink on it flat um this has more grooves in it or maybe it's just like that because it's dirty probably i could be wrong on that and this one's cleaner. Looks like it has less grooves than this one. Actually, it does. This one had a little defect because the one I had was using before. The tank had a little tilt on it, and I think it has something to do with this. So there's a little defect, and it wasn't balanced. Hopefully, when I hook this one up, which will be the next Compton Bowl I hook up, um, hopefully the tank will be more flat, like bal like leveled. Um, I noticed that this one, I cleaned it up. So there's gloss on it, but not really where the water used to be. For this one, you can see the gloss where the water used to be, but then when I look at this part here, there's not. I have to clean this one up and see if this is glossy, just like this. Um, still trying to see. Um, now, when you look at the front of the bowls, they um, look like... I put some sticker here so the hole doesn't show. So there's a hole there too. Just like it still has its bolt holes at the front. I just put a sticker there in the meantime. One had this one hooked up. Um, now I'm going to try to turn them around quickly. Because I noticed that there are some differences at the back. It's just got to bear with me here. Whoopsie. Now, let me turn this one around. Just gotta bear with me. Hold on. Also, I noticed with the 1952 one, the siphon jet hole is shiny. Like there's gloss inside the hole. In the siphon jet. But then, the 1956 one that I have, there isn't. I'm not sure if some chemicals got in a toilet from a long time ago that made it, made it lose its enamel if it ever did have that from before. Now, another thing I noticed is that when you look at the um, back here now, um, hold on. This is quite neat. I'm using a new phone, the standard. Samsung Galaxy Note 3, and I could actually pause the video anyway, so I don't have to do less editing later. Basically, at the back here, you'll notice that the neck that holds up between where the siphon jet water goes in from the discharge area, the 1952 on the right has a bigger spot, while the one on the left has a little. So if I point that little thing right there, it's smaller, and this one is bigger. So um, the discharge area... It's a little different. See? This is the 1952 and the 1956. Um, They're quite different, just like that. Um, I'm going to turn around to show you it closer. The base of it looks 
similar. So I don't really see any difference in the base. The base um looks basically the same to me. Looks close enough to the same to me. Actually, this area on the base I think is a little bit wider. While this one is just a little bit smaller. So there could have been just some small alterations on the base. Here's another um, big difference. I turn them both upside down now. And um, one thing I come to realize is the 1956 one over here it has a smooth um, neck area where the water fills in for the siphon jet hole. It's smooth. It's round and smooth. Now for the 1952, also with the bigger neck thing here, while this one's actually smaller, it's actually pointy. It's not circleish, it's pointy. See, you could see how pointy it is. So, um, 1950, the older style had a more pointy end tip, while the newer style had a more roundish tip in 1956. And if you can also tell, this one had more, um, I don't know, this one is, they probably cut back on materials because the newer one has this hole inside it. Like, this is super thick. This is crazy thick, which also makes the toilet more heavy. But it has this extra push up here for more support. See, the difference is on the neck. 1952 has this big, long, thick one. And 19, sorry, 1950, yeah, 1952 and 1956 has a thinner one. One thing I do not like with the newer one is that it's so much harder to reach for the bolts to tie them and loosen them for the tank and the toilet seat. See, it's harder to get in there. But this one that has a heavier thing and a nice bigger thing, it's easy just to throw the wrench at the side and screw it without having to push it on an angle like the newer one. So already you can see some differences there. And 1956, 1952. Um, I'm not sure what else. I'm trying to see. Um, the 1952 down there it looks a little bit more deeper. It's a little bit more deeper. This one it's less deeper. Just by a tiny bit. Um. Everything else kind of looks the same to me. It's hard to tell. In the 1956 one, which I showed from a long time ago, it says that. It says, um, mine is March um, 1st, 1956. You could tell by the K56. Um, and in this one, it's also made in USA. It says C52. And then it says September 17, 1952, and then some other kind of barcode F3258111. So, um, there you have it. Um, I think I spotted enough stuff. I don't know what I could possibly be missing out on. Um, oh, I think I might have found another thing. The rim around this one is thinner, I think, on the 1952. The the rim where the small jets come out, and I think it's a little bit bigger on this one. Yeah, it does um feel a little bit bigger. See, it's thicker, thinner. I think. Um, yeah, this is 1952, and then 1956. It's actually more pushed out with the rim on the bowl. Um, I'm going to flip these around one more time. So, um, also, for the 1956, there's more of a corner angle, and this is more wider out. I'm trying to get a good example of this. This one's less wider out. 
and there's less of a corner angle on here right here here there's less of a corner angle there's more of a corner angle on the newer one so trying to show a good example of that so yeah there is some differences and of course if I had a newer one I'd even see other differences um so that's all I have to show right now. Hands a little shaky because I'm moving these heavy things. It's funny how that works, especially if you're in an art class drawing delicate pictures and then you have to lift some heavy weights and you come back, your hand will be shaking. Just like how this camera is, because <laughs> it's my cell phone. Um there we go. 1956, 1952, standard comps. Ten. Seiko 2000 heading out.